Nah. What's the worst that could happen? Got a big problem here, look. The fuel's just coming out, pouring out the bottom at the bike. Oh man. So this is May 2018 and I took a solo overland ride from Chiang Mai, Thailand into Laos. Uh, 11 days only but jam-packed full of stuff um, including a 777 kilometer ride overnight from Vientiane to Chiang Mai partially in the dirt <laughs> in a thunderstorm um, because GPS took me on a different direction. But that's for later. Hey, hey, I'm finally over the border. Back there is um, Shang Kong immigration and now I have to remember to ride on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Day one, pretty, pretty boring in terms of um, video because the first stretch was Chiang Mai to Huizai, the friendship bridge on, on highway. Not really that interesting to video that. Once I was over the border, it was pretty smooth going. Got a big problem here, look. The fuel's just coming out, pouring out the bottom at the bike. Oh man. That didn't feel good. She put in the, she put in the petrol and suddenly you realize it's all coming out here. Yeah. Well, look, actually this turned out to be fairly minor, but at the time I was quite worried. Anyway. I did actually uh, find a little rural garage and it was fantastic. It was sorted within a short period of time and for very little money. I actually know what happened here. This, the lady came out and I remember I, I got her to fill the tank up and it filled up so fast and I knew something was off. Uh, basically it was so forceful it made the fuel hose come out. All I know is that if that happens again, I'll, I'll know how to fix it. I'll get myself some water. The sun's setting and so am I. <laughs> I think tonight is going to just be go to bed soon. <laughs> it's a really long day. Keep trying to oh, yeah. <laughs> I keep trying to remember which way I'm supposed to be walking, looking because I forget about the traffic direction like my way of Getting my stuff clean every night. I give it a wash and then just stick it on the hangers in the hotel room and let the fan dry them out. Bye bye, <laughs> Good morning from Luang Namta. Six o'clock, and I had a little stupid thing happen where last last when I got in yesterday, I was so tired that I didn't that I forgot to fill up my petrol tank, and um, so this morning I had a hunt had to have a hunt to find any any gas station that was open. Somebody, <laughs> she's not listening. So 
a nice early start and the mist is absolutely beautiful. So on, onwards to uh, Luang Prabang. Bye, Dee. <laughs> you know, one of the main things that struck me when riding on day two was just the sheer amount of uh, Chinese construction that was going on everywhere and a major construction. I mean, it was just like these huge buildings and, and in some, some places the, the workers looked like ants. It was, the scale was just ginormous and the, and the construction sounds reverberating through the entire the entire region. Let me tell you something quickly about this cafe. By the time I got here, it's probably about halfway, or a little bit more than halfway from Luam Nam Pa to Luam Prabang. And when I got there and had a coffee, I I can't even tell you what I, what it was like. I, I just, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I'm really spoiled in terms of coffee. And it's just become a habit that now without one, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty grumpy. And I just remember before I got to this cafe, I kind of started to feel quite aggressive about it. Like, where the hell is a coffee shop? <laughs> this is ridiculous, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean, and, and um, I almost drove into some traffic at the traffic lights because I, I went on the wrong side of the road again. Anyway, after this, I, I went riding along and I and I met these really nice people that rode in from China at the border, past Muen Singh, northern Laos. They came in from China to ride and invited me to ride with them, actually, but I, I love to ride on my own. I wanted to set my own pace and take photos and hopefully that didn't offend. It was quite hard. I had to explain to people that I just really like riding on my own. It's just the way it is. So here's a comedy moment for you. Um, my my flip flops that I brought over with me shredded up my feet last night, and I was in so much pain that I'm I've sort of in, done a temporary measure and cut my flip flops and used good old gaffer tape <laughs> to stick them on my feet. And so now I need to 
sitting to be trying to find um, a replacement pair of shoes. So yeah, day one was pretty straightforward, a pretty easy but interesting ride. Saw beautiful things, met some nice people and rested up for the night and got myself some cake and went to bed. <laughs>